This is the African Rights Team. Mother let out a prolonged groan, pushing. Kaka turned her attention to her and urged her to push harder. I stood up and wrapped mother's dress around my shoulders. Then I moved to the door and opened it. Quickly, I stepped outside. I walked swiftly, noiselessly, the soft grass beneath my feet muffling the sound of my footsteps. The gentle light from the breaking dawn made the banana trees look like silhouettes of soldiers standing to attention. Who is it? Father's voice called out quietly, but loud enough to make me jump. It's me, I replied. How is your mother? He asked anxiously. Has the baby arrived? Is she all right? He was whispering. The baby's almost out. I've come to fetch the baby clothes from the pit. I whispered back. Why ever did you put them in the pit? At times you can be very stupid, Alinda. You knew the baby was coming, to, was going to arrive anytime soon. He sounded both excited and fearful. He removed the two iron sheets gently in order not to make any noise. Now, where are those clouds? He whispered. I hope they are not right down at the bottom. Silently, I pointed out the plastic bag which was sitting on top, where mother had told me to put it. Father picked it up and handed it to me. The soft light and the silence only broken by the croaking sound of the frogs. 